hope my it says my mic is on. Oh, almost forgot the little Christmas music. Good morning and Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. I know it's, it's very early, but <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Tasty. Uh, I feel like um, a lot of people like to sleep in in general, which is fine, but I like waking up really early in the morning, um, but I hope if I do early morning streams, some people from international time zones can jump in, or I guess fellow early morning riser. Oh. Hello. How are you doing this morning? Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> uh, mobile's fine. No problem at all. What? <laughs> Be warned of Ren, Snick. He is sus and will drown you. Drown me? There's no, there's no river here. <laughs> But hello, hello Sushi Ren, Minha told me to be warned. <laughs> well, too bad that I, uh, I don't have the, the point, the channel points yet. <laughs> it's okay, it's good to be hydrated. I, I would rather be uh, hydrated and exploding with water than uh, <laughs> uh, I hydration hydration is good in general. Uh, <laughs> though I actually had, um, I had an English teacher a long time ago and I guess she, she taught like six or seven classes in a row and between each class she would, I guess, or during each class she would down a whole bottle of water, uh, it would be like one of those, I think, a 16, 17 ounces. And, uh, yeah, so she would like completely empty those bottles every, every class period. And then apparently she also, <laughs> my, my, my American, <laughs> my American measurements. <laughs> I should have, I should have like a little, um, I should be like a conversion extension or like I should make a conversion shortcut for chat. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, but even though, uh, even though, oh my gosh, I don't know if my background sound is happening at all but my my snake parentals are goofing around like right in front of my door <laughs> um yeah it would be helpful if i had like a little um metric conversion shortcut thing um but i i forgot to oh okay so the, the, 
the the point of my story is that um she actually the teacher ended up drinking so much water she ended up in the hospital for like water poisoning which i didn't know what was uh it was a thing until <laughs> until she until it happened to her uh like thankfully she she was okay but um i think the problem might have been that uh she was downing all that water but not taking enough bathroom breaks throughout the day uh which i would have thought that um that would just be a, a uti or something but apparently if you if you store too much water in the body it is uh it is water poisoning. Oh no! <laughs> what? All of that, all of that for a wee? Unfortunately didn't come out okay, oh no! That is, that is very concerning. Yeah, you absolutely gotta pee that water out. Definitely. Uh, a radio show. What was that? Was that like a huge thing? Can't believe I, I never heard about any of it. If it like went viral online or something. Hold on, just one moment. I'm gonna take a little sippy of my drink. Uh, does anybody have like tea or coffee in the morning? Uh, I, I ended up having, um, I have a cup of chai, but I don't think it's like real chai. It's, it's very like manufactured chai that came in those little cups that you shove in the, the coffee maker. <laughs> Good morning, Christmas stream. We are we all start talking about people dying from drinking water. Uh, well, it it happens, and people should be careful. I mean, stay hydrated, but also use the restroom when you need. You have so many minha. You have so many teas, but drinks coffee instead. Yeah, I think three three large bags of coffee would, would just about do it. <laughs> uh, um, I I have a lot of coffee in my house, but I'm not a super huge coffee drinker. Uh, I. I feel like it might be traced back to like <laughs> uh, when I was a child and um, I was at a, a wedding and then as a, as a child that doesn't know anything at a wedding I was just kind of vibing in in my seat and then I think I had a uh, cola for my drink but then um, there they had like clear glass cups for like everything and my my mom's coffee was right next to my coke and then I guess I accidentally drank it and then my I think my mom likes her her coffee black sometimes and so like imagine going in to try and drink coke but then suddenly getting the taste of black coffee and then I think I was literally uh a seven-year-old snake at the time <laughs> and then I think ever since then I was like I never want to have coffee it's always gonna taste like that <laughs> but it's okay I, I drink coffee now um, I've gotten uh, I think as I've gotten older in in my snake years <laughs> um, I've appreciated coffee more, especially since uh, I like very 
I don't like, let's see, I like less sweets. Like in general, I didn't like sweets too much growing up, but uh, but like, hmm, like I guess I kind of liked the normal-ish amount for when I was a child, but then it was easier for me to pick up on eating like uh, like I guess bitter <laughs> foods and drinks, but I still put like sugar and um, let's see, sugar and milk in my coffee. I don't think I can <laughs> survive without it right now unless it's mm, depends how strong the coffee is but in general <laughs> would imagine snake tongues sensitive early on yeah it's true <laughs> um oh no <laughs> Yeah, I think, um, I didn't really become a coffee drinker until, uh, until SNCC University <laughs> because, uh, oh wait, not even, maybe even after that because, uh, yeah, I, I would still be able to stay up late, but I guess I only had, uh, soda instead uh, generally caf I'm very sensitive to caffeine um, I think even when I was like in high school if I took like a small sip of uh, soda it would be able to keep me up all night uh, but I think now uh, I drink a lot of not too much caffeine, but probably a couple times a week just so I would stay awake. I didn't understand that people used it to stay awake. <laughs> um, I guess I didn't like recognize the <laughs> the kind of the spark of, of caffeine that that keeps you awake and alert until <laughs> I became a more frequent drinker and now it's like because I am more tired, <laughs> tired and old. <laughs> I kind of I need that little boost, um, which makes me wonder. I don't even know how I was able to stay up and do all nighters back in, back in little little snake school. I used to have two cups of black coffee every day when I was twelve. So now it's like decaf green tea makes me so why oh my gosh are, are you okay tasty uh, i want to i want to be one of those people that that uh leisure drinks coffee <laughs> Instead of just drinking it when I need to. <laughs> no, tasty. I mean, I feel like the, there's still advantages to having a, a little sippy and then being energized, maybe. Depends on the occasion. Oh yeah, I forgot. Um, I wanted to... I think I, I talked about it last night, but I wanted to show my little family Christmas brunch, even though I had it for like lunch dinner. <laughs> Oh gosh, it's like bigger than I thought. Um, but yeah, I had, let me make this a little bit, can I make it smaller? 
Is it showing up on stream? Uh, I think. Yeah. Um, so it's not the prettiest picture, but I tried. <laughs> uh, so I had like scrambled eggs. Usually I actually like um, stuff like sunny side up or I guess the, there's another term for the eggs that I like, which is over medium where it's uh i think some restaurants have different definitions of it but uh <laughs> it's like a sunny side egg but you but you partially fry it on the yolk side so there's kind of a, a thin little layer over the yolk but yeah i like my eggs more on the the soft and somewhat runny side but my the rest of my family low-key hates it so Oops, excuse me so uh i was like yeah i don't need to bother for uh making the the eggs i like i i'll still consume scrambled eggs over medium is delish it's perfect for a sandwich Yes, yes it is. Uh, oh my gosh, the <laughs> this is off topic from like my Christmas meal here, but uh, I used to live in Japan for a while, and it was like it was like basically heaven for um, going to like either fast food restaurants or like small sandwich or burger places in general because literally every single place had an option for egg in the sandwich or egg in the burger and then i was just like why don't why isn't that more common in in america <laughs> egg is just the the perfect addition to anything Hello. Small local burger places here offer egg. Oh, I think I, I think I need to move over to to where Minha is. Uh, I think there there's been some places. It, it's like the very hip and would show up on tiktok places here in america that will now serve like eggs on burgers and stuff oh yes locomocos are so good um oh gosh where'd my music go okay um Yes, I will- I will eat anything and everything. I do like trying a lot of new foods. Um, I think there's only a few things that <laughs> I won't eat at the top of my head, but uh... Hmm... I do like uh... Oh my gosh, I forgot like every single food I've ever eaten. Um, I think only at the top of my head I, I wouldn't- <laughs> I don't like raisins. <laughs> um, actually I think if it's- if it's super sweet because the raisins are super sweet to me and I kind of not into it that much <laughs> and also the texture Make, uh, let's see, Locomoco, but I don't have beef. Does anyone know if you can make gravy out of Spam grease? I'm not sure if that's possible, but that would be, that would be amazing because I always have Spam in my house. Have you tried insects? I have not, but 
I would eat an insect if someone cooked some and gave it to me. Like, I, I wouldn't eat it, like, eat raw insects. <laughs> as, as much as I am a snake, I am, I'm a snake of class and I want it served on a fancy plate. Oh. <laughs> raisins keep me alive, especially anemic events. Wait, are are raisins like high in? Oh my gosh, I don't I don't know what is it iron. I don't know, but yeah, I guess raisins are are good for you. Generally, I like healthy foods, but <laughs> raisins are not for me. Perhaps maybe because uh some some old grandparent snacks really really loves raisins and i i just wasn't into them and they put it in like everything <laughs> just eat them raw no i i have to cook them oh yeah have you guys heard of like um what was it that, um, with insects, the, they were making, like, sustainable flour made of crickets. Um, I high-key want to try that. <laughs> if I'm remembering correctly. Yeah, I wouldn't, like, I don't really have much dietary restrictions. But I was like trying um, all the new like sustainable stuff and uh, there's also a very good vegan place um, sort of close to where I am. <laughs> a review stream. Is it a review stream for, for insects or... <laughs> oh my gosh. Yes, I should I should go search for which places near me have insects. Group food review collab. <laughs> I completely <laughs> always off track with uh my image, but um but yeah, the eggs and the potatoes, there's some like veggies in it, but um, it's like the veggies that my parents like to eat, which is bell peppers. And uh, there's kind of, there's some mushrooms in this, but my, my snake father hates mushrooms with a passion. So I'm pretty sure he picked his out and put it to the side. <laughs> um... Oh yeah, and then there was also, uh, some cinnamon rolls. And then the, the thing at the top, uh, it was like this box of, uh, it was like brie cheese inside of, um, of like a pastry or something, but... It was really good. But yeah, that was basically my um, Christmas meal. Wait, let me check. I need to catch up on chat. Um, insects soaked in different sauces. Depends on the sauce. Yeah. Oh wait, I didn't even read Minha's message on depends on the sauce. Same brain. <laughs> um... If you have a shellfish allergy, you might be allergic to crickets. What? Is it the- what? Is it because like the shell might be kind of similar or whatever's in like shelled creatures that that make people with those kinds of allergies act up? Oh, that's so sad. Cause what if like um 
you have allergies but you're also you also want to be sustainable and then you can't have the sustainable cricket meals Allergies, allergies just need to be obliterated. No more allergies for people ever. Ooh. Shelly, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna do a quick search for, for possible insect eateries. Oh, okay. Uh, looks like there's actually quite a few. Let's see, I... Hmm. I'm gonna find... Find one actually near me. Now, I guess there's no insect restaurants or like stores that sell insect stuff immediately near me but i do live like a drivable distance from a, a super big uh city so and i think because that city is very big everything's kind of there so yeah maybe if we if we do plan out uh a food review testing day. I'd definitely be down for um, grabbing some stuff from there. Let's see, crickets are anthropods like shrimp, crabs, and lobsters. This means they contain some of the same some of the same protein. Well, insect facts. That's actually pretty. Animals, animals are pretty interesting. <laughs> thanks to someone in Hollow Live, thanks to someone in Hollow Live, got their edible insects off Amazon, including tarantula. What? In the ramen? What? Oh my gosh! I, <laughs> I feel like I, I feel bad about eating stuff like tarantula. Um, since some people have pet tarantulas, uh, like, I don't, I won't mind, like, munching on a, a small, <laughs> small spider, <laughs> like, a, cooking a spider that you found on, on the wall, <laughs> but, uh, but it's not poisonous. <laughs> Unless you can, like, cook the poison out, I guess it's fine. <laughs> we'll go with something small and affordable. <laughs> Hello, potato. You, you've come into an interesting point of the, the conversation of consuming tarantulas. Tarantulas that are so expensive. <laughs> Oh my gosh, when um when Animal Crossing came out, <laughs> I feel like I I got jump scared by those uh, tarantulas, <laughs> and then uh, cause I I think in general I just hate anything in a game that chases you at high speeds, <laughs> and then um then of course there were tons of those viral videos of people like perishing at the at the hands of t uh, tarantula island in animal crossing uh, I'm catching up in chat <laughs> I'll ask Sishue if she wants to join us because she has tried some with me before. Yes, please. 
Oh no, potato. Is it like a headache or... <laughs> or I guess too much booze? <laughs> I forgot, I forgot holiday drinking was a thing because um, this, this snack is a lightweight. <laughs> so I, I always have to have literally any other drink. <laughs> but, but power to everybody that, that is strong with alcohol. <laughs> Um, oh my gosh, I was distracted because, uh, <laughs> distracted because my, my pet cat has, is trying to, like, take most of my chair from me. And I'm only, like, half sitting in my chair. <laughs> But I don't have I don't have the heart to to kick her out. But I I have <laughs> see I have I have one cat picture prepared in stream just in case I could I'd have the chance to show her. <laughs> oh my gosh, like new cats. I want, I want tons of cats. This is my cat. Um, this isn't the best picture, but she is she is pleasant and sleeping. She's actually a pretty old cat uh, in comparison to the the brand new cats that. <laughs> That Minha is saying we're born in September and October. Like my my cat is uh, think mm, like my my cat is older than than some uh, Gen Z kids, <laughs> and uh, I as a reference um. I named her when I first got into anime, <laughs> and uh, her name is uh, Kilala, which is the the demon cat from uh, from Inuyasha that that's always with Sango. <laughs> uh, she actually had a sister named Sango. But um, I had to give her away pretty early to um, one of my my grandparent snakes, because uh, I think we we couldn't handle two two cats, and then also this cat, <laughs> the the one that was named Sango, kind of like hated my guts, and I don't know why, because I treated both Kilala and Sango the same, but <laughs> Kilala, Kilala liked me, Sango was like scared of me, but I digress. <laughs> My cat's cute and I'm, I'm glad that she's been with me for such a long time, and I hope that she continues to be healthy like i don't think she's had any major health issues uh crossing my fingers but yeah kilala is very precious to me um i actually forgot to put a picture of my dog because i do have a dog too but <laughs> the i feel like in a sense the the cat belongs to me um, while the dog belongs to my mom. 
Because the dog loves my mom so much. <laughs> um. Yeah, I can. I'll, I'll definitely post more more cat photos in the the Discord. <laughs> That dog is definitely your mom's dog. <laughs> yeah, I think, um... <laughs> it's okay, Tasty. You'll, you'll see my dog again someday. <laughs> Tasty has seen firsthand uh, <laughs> how, how my dog treats everyone else versus my mom. <laughs> And, uh, she's a little bit of a, a troublemaker and very protective of her. I guess the, there are some dogs that are kind of like that, but what I don't understand is that the dog did get, um, excuse me, <laughs> did get, like, formal training, but then... Only, only some of it worked, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, um... Oh yeah, does anybody in the chat have anything planned for today or did something nice yesterday? Uh, I think I did ask some of that yesterday too, but... I'll ask again today since it's Christmas. THE Christmas day. <laughs> I mean, I'd be down for uh, a stream later. <laughs> um, Minha, didn't you just get, um, was it Gang Beasts? Unless that's like too chaotic to, to play for uh, a Christmas stream. <laughs> Could do a Christmas karaoke. I keep seeing so many uh, VTubers do Christmas karaoke. My gosh, Izumi, Izumi needs to get it. <laughs> you were dead last night. And then it's just gonna be chill. It's me and the boys. Oh yeah, you did do karaoke. Well, it's like extra festive karaoke. <laughs> Izumi was wary because she didn't enjoy human fall flat. <laughs> oh no, work already? Oh my gosh. Yeah, uh, I'd be okay for- I'd be down for more Jackbox, if anything. But, I hope- I hope you can have a, a chill day tomorrow. Or a chill day today, and then that everything goes okay at work tomorrow. I don't even know what I'm- Oh no, Tasty, you too! I hope... I hope you can... I hope you also can... relax a bit today. And... that... um... things go well at work tomorrow. I don't even know what I'm doing tomorrow. Um... I'm... I'm in a very... Aw. Lounging is nice. Uh. <laughs> My 
Mama, no. Well, I hope that Minha's mom can get some rest after after she's done with work. I have no idea what I'm doing tomorrow, really, because, um... Yeah, the, the snick is in a little predicament. <laughs> um, like, right before the the debut, or yeah, the, the collab stream debut for me, uh, a major, like, water pipe in my house broke. <laughs> and, like, my, it's not like my house is completely broken, but basically we have to have people coming in and out of our house maybe for the next two more weeks after we had a bunch of work done this week. And I'm just like, oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, I mean, I'll be okay. I, I just feel bad for my parents because they, um, they have had to basically abandon their, their bedroom because that's where the water pipe broke and now they're just sleeping in the living room <laughs> and I'm the only one with my own room. <laughs> I mean, they have an office, uh, but... The, the living room is more spacious for them, and I guess they spend their time in there um, during the day anyways. But yeah, that's basically their new room now, while all the work is being done downstairs. Um, I wanted to have more morning streams, but now I kind of have to work around the workers in case it gets too loud. Like, I might test out a morning stream while they're working next week just to to see if any any sound gets picked up because um I'd actually love to do more morning streams because I feel like um doing something like this would be a good refreshing start to my day instead of just vegetating in my bed until it's time for me to do something. Like, uh, right now I, I'm basically kind of on a mini vacation up until um, after New Year's, but hopefully I can still stream after then uh, because Snick has has gone back to, to school to, to further education. <laughs> back to, to Snake University. <laughs> but I find it um, a lot easier online for me personally. Um, yeah, so hopefully the, the water pipe stuff doesn't get in the way of too many things. I feel like my, my house has had a bad history with water because um, I think when I when I moved into this house I live in, uh, <laughs> Snack University majoring in slithering, yes. That's exactly what I'm working on, my <laughs> need to complete complete my major. Um, love watching morning streams while I get ready for work. Ah, yeah, um, I think I, like, even, uh, before work, uh, when I wasn't working, um, it was nice to have a, a video up while I'm kind of doing stuff. <laughs> um, my gosh, I, I end up talking about so many things and distracting myself <laughs> that I forget what what I'm even talking about. Uh, but yeah, the 
I'm just hoping the, the water pipe stuff ends up okay and um, that my house kind of seems cursed sometimes because uh, I think the, the first month that I moved into this house with my family, uh, we had a problem with the gas, which in turn infect- uh, not infected, affected the, uh, the water heater. And then, uh, I guess- oh my gosh, it was so long ago when I moved in here, but, uh, it would be like all of the water was cold and then every time, uh, one person in the house had to take a shower, like, another one of us would have to go downstairs and, like, reignite the water heater, like, every few minutes. <laughs> and apparently it was, like, a very weird and not as common problem, I think. So it, like, it wouldn't have had to be for that entire month if we had figured it out sooner. <laughs> but that's how things be sometimes. Uh... Thankfully it got fixed eventually. And then there was another incident. Um, I think it actually happened last year, 2020, uh, or maybe a year before that. Uh, like, cause I live in, um, kind of an interconnected neighborhood type of thing. Um, and then this this water line gave out or something like that because there were one too many trucks like going over that exact plot of um, concrete <laughs> and I guess the the line was super close to the surface that it basically shut off the water for half of my entire neighborhood and it lasted for a week. <laughs> So, <laughs> and they're like all of, it was, it was one of those moments where kind of like all of my neighbors are all outside and then they're all like looking at each other, talking to each other like what's going on? We didn't get a warning about the water being shut off and then we saw like a bunch of workers trying to fix things as soon as possible. Uh, I think that there were like many complaints sent to the the head of um, our neighborhood. <laughs> but now I think I I just ended up uh, we were just drinking a bunch of water bottles and then um, either went to a friend's house to use the shower or something. It was not the most pleasant time, but could have been worse. Uh, oh, hello, Joy. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Senko. I'm just popping in before bed to say hello and have a good stream. We'll watch VOD later. Aw, oh, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you for your support. Um, yeah, I love when people can just pop in. Um, uh, even if it's for like two seconds, I I really appreciate that that people come in to say hi. Sorry to interrupt that story. Oh, it's it's okay. I was I was just about done with the story. <laughs> that that was the <laughs> uh, that was the main thing of the the story. My my weird neighborhood problem and house problems with water keep trying to find cricket packs available both in US and Canada but no luck. Oh no. Are they that rare or like are people buying them up? <laughs> Good night, Joy. Oh yeah, it is getting pretty late for you over there. <laughs> cricket hunt continues. Yeah, I thought they would be pretty, pretty easy to find. I know when I was um, a kid, a lot of my classmates would come to school with those, um, you know, those lollipops, the 
that are kind of you can they're kind of clear but they have a bug in them i did see a lot of people with those um though i don't know if those places exist anymore uh, at least near me I like to imagine, though, that your entire neighborhood is just a bunch of snake people and the head of the neighborhood is just a super macho hydra. <laughs> yeah, I, I live in a, in a big snake community and, and the, the head of the neighborhood is, is, in fact, a super macho hydra, but um, we have used power in numbers to, to overcome... The, the problems that the Macho Hydra has caused our neighborhood. <laughs> the final boss of Senko's neighborhood. <laughs> $25 a pack? How big is the pack? Like... <laughs> like, I feel like... It, it would have to be a huge pack to be worth that, that $25. Like a, a rice bag worth of insects. <laughs> you left your, your last, last, uh, but you left my last stream at noon and now it's 1am. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I hope you had a good day though, Joy. It is including shipping, but 70 grams. Okay, now, now I need the converter. <laughs> uh, that's like, ah, uh, okay. Um, I guess 70 grams is about one close to, no wait. Oh my gosh, I can't breathe. <laughs> Um, convert it to ounce. Oh my gosh, that's so that's so small. That's like two point five ounces. There are snack packs too, but the price isn't isn't very different. Oh my gosh, why why are they so expensive? <laughs> Aw, thank you, Joy. Thank you for coming into to two whole streams. I, people, I don't think, like, I hope nobody feels, like, obligated <laughs> to come in, but it would be, it's nice to, to chat with y'all. And, um... I am a, a snake who is new to streaming, but I have found it to be very fun so far, and all of you people are always there. You're helping me have a good time doing this, too. <laughs> no, you're, you're not required. <laughs> oh my gosh, tasty gentrified crickets. Oh, fifteen dollars for three bags plus shipping. Mm, I guess that that's a a lot better than the the other. Oh my! God. <laughs> Failure to show up to stream is punishable by shaming. No, I don't want to shame anyone. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> tasty, no! <laughs> don't believe Tasty's lies. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, no. <laughs> Don't feel obligated to do anything for me. Also, I'm innocent. <laughs> oh my gosh, how do I... <laughs> How do I ban mods from linking things? <laughs> I need to I need to ban Minha. <sighs> okay, I guess if they go to my about page, I I can't complain about that. 
Uh, I have I have updated since my my first stream. Uh, my about page and some of my other stuff. Because my my first stream I was very not prepared, but it's okay. I am learning. <laughs> um. Yeah, I did add a, a tipping page um, on one of my Twitch panels, like on the about page. And then um, I did also include countdowns to next streams. I don't have my schedule for, for next week yet. Um, probably, I don't know, I'm kind of, <laughs> I want to have more streams because, um, I'll have less time after the new year, but then also I don't want to plan out so many streams. Do not challenge Potato and, and Vaughn. Oh my gosh, oh no! <laughs> I don't know if, um, if, I don't know. Is it possible? I'm not sure. <laughs> oh yeah, are you uh, are you on the leaderboard, Tasty, for being my my one and only tipper? <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> the the Tasty record. Oh my good what huh? what. Oh my! N <laughs> what? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> I think I think you you accidentally added a zero to to that number. I think you I think you meant to 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 do five dollars. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> yes, exactly. I think- I think you forgot a zero. <laughs> oh my gosh, but- but thank you so much. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> what- what are you talking about? No. <laughs> No. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> well, <laughs> I know how to speak words. <laughs> Accidentally added a zero. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. I, I was just- I was so shocked by- by the number, I couldn't even speak correctly. <laughs> oh my gosh, money. <laughs> what the- what? Huh? What? Huh? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh my gosh, potato, potato! What what are you people doing? <laughs> what <laughs> what is what kind of trolling is this? Is this like advanced brain trolling? Merry Crisis. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. <laughs> gosh, what, a, what is this? Vaughn versus Potato. <laughs> Snack treats. Oh yeah, I'll definitely do, um some draw streams. I'm not <laughs> I'm not too confident of drawing on stream because I don't know something about <laughs> drawing while people watching makes me more nervous. Uh, 
But yeah, I'd love to um I'd love to doodle a little something for for Vaughn and Potato. And also Tasty since Tasty is my my very first Now I think um cuz during the pandemic year I think I, I stopped drawing for a long time <laughs> and probably the most I've drawn this year was probably uh, <laughs> working on the my my human form design so so y'all don't have to see my my true snake form um, <laughs> but yeah I uh, yeah, this um, pr producing my my human form that you see before you is is the most I've done on art so far this year, probably. <laughs> see, Izumi was like that, but I but think she's a little more confident now. Yeah, I guess um, doing something. <laughs> over and over again helps you get used to it. Um, I know I was so uh, nervous about the idea of talking on stream, which is why I was kind of like quiet during the Jackbox collab, but I think uh, now that I'm a tiny bit more used to it, I'm like, uh, I'm like, oh yeah, I guess this, this isn't, this isn't so bad. <laughs> Um, yeah, I was, I was nervous about talking on stream and then just nervous streaming in general and, <laughs> and also just uh, so much going on that day, but it was still really fun. Um, yeah, Zodiac, the, the Zodiac crew has been incredible ever since I joined and helping me so much, especially with like technology. Oh my goodness, the the group call right before my first solo stream. <laughs> yeah, I was actually thinking of um, asking in the group, asking you Minha in the group chat, but then you started streaming and I was like, oh no, <laughs> I can't disturb Minha while she's streaming. <laughs> Um, yeah, I guess I can start with like sketches and doodles, um, and then Minha saying you stopped drawing because of school and then the pandemic made you draw more. Yeah, I don't know, something about the, the pandemic, like it made me want to play video games more and, um, <laughs> and, and not draw. <laughs> Because my, my brain is very like, why draw when when I have time to play game? <laughs> and yes, Joy, I'd love to do a Discord hangout with you to, to warm up on drawing. Um, oh yeah, this is a, a shout out to um, Joy, Martian Joy. But um, uh, they have super nice art and they do stream uh well they're not streaming for this year i think they should they're, they're streaming more next year they already did their their final stream for 2021 but um uh oh what i don't have commands i don't okay i'm just gonna do a verbal shout out <laughs> I, I need to figure this other stuff out, but, um, yeah, everyone should go, like, um, follow Martian Joy. Uh, I really enjoy their, um, their streams. They, they do a lot of, like, decorative, like, journaling and also drawing. Um, oh, yes, Minha, thank you, please. Uh, so, yeah, um, uh... Joy usually does like weekly streams and they're very relaxing and Joy has a really relaxing voice. Um I could I could listen to Joy all day. <laughs> um 
But yeah, I actually do like, um, I also like decorating like planners and journals. I don't know if I, I'd be up to showing that on stream or anything, but, um, but I would say that Martian Joy was basically my inspiration for wanting to decorate my journal and it's actually pretty fun because it's like a use for all the stickers you've ever stored up and all the washi tape and it's also a nice cool down from the day and like being able to either write down what I did for the day or uh, plan out my day for the next day. Yes, love you, Joy. Would shout out your channel anytime. And <laughs> once I figure out <laughs> how to add all these different commands, <laughs> I will do it. <laughs> oh, cool. Thank you. I will I will look into that later. <laughs> yeah, I know I totally like asked Minha about like Streamlab stuff because I couldn't figure out stream elements, but then right after <laughs> like Minha told me about the the Streamlabs uh OBS add-on thing, I I like finally started understanding stream elements. <laughs> Um, maybe I'll switch over later if, um, I really hate stream elements, but I guess since I finally figured it out, it's okay. <laughs> uh. I think I, I was, like, intentionally trying to, to stay away from Streamlabs at first because of some stuff that happened. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah, but I know for now, like, Streamlabs has so much. <laughs> so I hope, I hope that uh, stream elements can improve and be more uh, friendly to, to new users. <laughs> uh, I think stream elements is still pretty good. I did look at Streamlabs for a little bit and Streamlabs definitely has a lot more options and looks more um, straightforward in comparison. <laughs> oh my gosh, the, the OG OBS. Oh my gosh, so long ago. <laughs> Yeah, I think um I've I've used OBS a few times, but um I did it to uh Oh my gosh, what did I use? Oh yeah. Um hmm. I don't know if I should say this on stream, but uh I I would record some paid live streams. Uh, using OBS, but then like save it for myself, because <laughs> uh, I'm a I'm a big fan of um, 2.5D, and I do like buying and watching the the live viewings, <laughs> and then I don't like like I end up buying the the DVDs eventually, but. I just know every time I watch the the live viewing, uh, like after that viewing period is over, I have to wait like six whole months for the DVD and I have like no access to it whatsoever. So it's like, <laughs> like my, my garbage, like my garbage quality recording of the the live viewing just so I can take screen caps for my own reference if I if I want to draw something from it or um, just watch it to to tide me over for 
the the six month wait. <laughs> Okay, th thank you, uh, Minha and Joy. No, I, I would not recommend, uh, like, recording things and then just sharing it with everyone, obviously, because that is very illegal in general. Um, but I, I have no issue if it's something that's like, for personal reference and um, as long as you're not distributing it I don't see the harm especially if like uh, you're someone that that does frequently support it <laughs> um, I'm not advertising <laughs> to do <laughs> this and that but <laughs> uh, I, I would encourage the the support of <laughs> of the, the 2.5D field. Um, I think before I started streaming, I wanted to like do 2.5D watch alongs, but of course I can't share that with anybody. And then like, I can't, <laughs> the, the DVDs are very expensive and not accessible to everybody. <laughs> so, I was like, I don't think that that would really work unless people just wanted to randomly see my reactions to it or if I was, uh, <laughs> or if I'm saying like, oh, character A just jumped over, jumped over the stairs and then character B stabbed character A, uh, <laughs> just telling everyone going on that can't watch it. Um, yeah, copyright issues are very troublesome. See, remembering when Daya got me into 2.5D so f hard, but just for Daya. <laughs> Sports live commentary, but instead 2.5D. I would, I would low-key love that. Ichini has hopped down the stairs. <laughs> Five minute crafts watch along. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the the Zodiac members react to five minute crafts. <laughs> I think that would be really fun. But yeah, uh, tasty. I still remember when um, you showed me parts of the, the Daya stage play, but just Miyuki. Like, for reference, I don't even go there. Like, I've watched maybe one episode of Daya. Uh, and... But I... I approve and support of all sports anime. Um... I think when I was, like, <laughs> building, uh... Uh, like, a bio for myself. I put like a favorite sports section and then I was gonna put my favorite sports are sports anime. <laughs> yes, a Zodiac special. Yeah, I actually do really like uh, sports anime, and I'd love to get back into watching it. <laughs> um, I think my my first sports anime was uh, mm. <laughs> oh yeah, I I guess I started watching sports anime when um when kind of like I know there's a lot of super old good ones, but uh. <laughs> The one that I ended up watching first was like Kuroko no Basket <laughs> with their their super super powered basketball moves. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I 
Minha, which which thing are you approving of along with Union? Yeah, I think the the Dia stage is very well done. Um, I I fully support 2.5D actors, and I really appreciate all the the hard work that they do. Um, and of course, uh, Daya has uh, a very good actor that I also like, which is uh, Wada Takuma, who who plays Miyuki. But also, since I watched the the Token Rambu 2.5D productions, um, I also like Wada Takuma as um, as Kasen. <laughs> Yes, I love Kuroko no Basuke. Um, I think um, I I watched yeah I watched the anime and read some of the manga, but I was so addicted. <laughs> and my favorite was uh, Kuroko. Oh my god. Um. Oh joy. I want to see your your can be fan art. <laughs> Kasen is beautiful. Yes, he is. Uh also gushes about my son Yamanagiri, his stage act. Yes. Oh my god. Um <laughs> my 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 secret reason for for streaming is to to just gush about uh, Token Rambu <laughs> and the 2.5D because my uh, my I guess my my bias for uh, 2.5D actors is Aramaki Yoshihiko who plays uh, who plays Yaman Bagiri in the stage play so it's it's time for me to. <laughs> It's <laughs> my my true reason for streaming is to tell tell the world about uh about Aramaki Yoshihiko. <laughs> oh my gosh, Tasty has Miyuki bromides. Did you <coughs> oh jeez <coughs> <coughs> Oh, I got so excited. I, I was like choking on my tea. <laughs> um, I wish I could like post post a photo of Mackie in here. Like, is that is that allowed? Like, if it's picture of Mackie but from his own um from his own Twitter <laughs> promote Mackie I would I would love to <laughs> yeah I know like 2.5d actor photos are are kind of um especially for like Japanese 2.5d culture it, it's like a big no-no to to kind of repost stuff like um <laughs> yeah maybe i'll draw him sometime i actually bought uh some mackie merch recently like of just him and not him dressed up <laughs> so maybe when when that comes in i can i can show my my merch <laughs> Uh, like a quick stuff of like merch that was already shown on um, like a shopping page and then slap a watermark on it or something maybe <laughs> or I guess I can draw fan art of all the bromides because he looks very pretty in them um let's see and also thank you Minha for sending in the commands. I'll I'll look into that. Uh, and ooh, wait, Joy. I think 
think I might have seen your Aokise, maybe? Like, either on a stream where you were showing some of your old fan art. But I need to I need to look at it again. <laughs> Yeah, if only I could post um, Mackie, one of Mackie's latest tweets, cause um, he's like wearing such a dad outfit. <laughs> and I'm just like, bro, <laughs> why would you do this? <laughs> oh my gosh, I didn't know the... Um... <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know uh, Al Kise was so popular. I guess that makes sense. Um, like, I know most of the the boys are pretty popular, but uh, I know a lot of people do like uh, Kise in general. <laughs> Erase it from your mind. Uh, well, I, I remember the idea of it, but I don't remember the actual, uh, fan art. It's, it's like very fuzzy in my brain. <laughs> I need to, I need to take a look at it again. <laughs> and then Tasty commenting on Joy's cute emote. Yeah, uh, follow, uh, follow Martian Joy on Twitch to redeem the the cutest little whale emote. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I think it's so funny, Joy, that um, you happen to know uh, Union. <laughs> Because I, I didn't meet uh, Union until I joined the Zodiacs, <laughs> but I've known um, Joy for a really long time. It's a, it's a small world and <laughs> so many people know each other on the internet. Yes, please, I would love to... Um, reach affiliate for for the sole uh the sole reason of getting cute emotes <laughs> oh my gosh i i literally could have um crossed paths with you minha because uh i go to anime expo a lot like obviously not now in the pandemic but but i <laughs> I have been going to Anime Expo for a really long time. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, I think, um, oh my God. I don't remember which, uh, years that I've gone to, to AX, um, but I've gone quite a lot since it's easy-ish to go to. <laughs> But yeah, I'm sorry. America, America is expensive, and AX is really expensive. Um, I would say I typically, I, I would not choose to go to AX because I'm so sick of the crowds. But uh, I do like seeing a lot of friends, and. Uh, if there's a particular um, voice actor or music guest that I like, I, I'd love to go. Um, let's see. Oh my gosh, I was gonna say like <laughs> I went to see the the Flow and Old Codex concert at 
um, Anime Expo, but now old Codex is kind of cursed because of, uh, you know what, if, if you know Tatsun. <laughs> Two TKRB Cosmetes. Oh my gosh, I think I was I was there at that AX and probably in Token Rambu cosplay, but I I don't think I went to the meets because I was in the artist alley. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I... Ooh. That is unfortunate. <laughs> but I guess that makes sense that someone who, who does something like he did typically has always been that kind of person and would probably have a track record of doing not-so-good things. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I love Token Rambu cosplayers. They're all so cute. Oh my gosh! Urashima! It's cute. Um, it's very surprising that um, people cosplayed Urashima too because uh, Urashima, I think, was pretty new at the time. And, and same with uh, someone like Hakata. Oh, that's so cute. Uh, if if you haven't noticed, my um, <laughs> my whole getup in in this form is basically a giant token Rambu reference. Like, I didn't intentionally try to, like, copy any swords, obviously, but... But some, some heavy influence. <laughs> like, I think, uh... If, if there wasn't, like, too many people on stream today, or if I couldn't think of what to talk about, um... I would have just played Token Rambu on stream just because it's easy to concentrate on like talking while playing a game like that since it's like PowerPoint simulator. <laughs> yes, I'd love to see the the cosplayers. <laughs> I, I, I studied the blade. Should give myself a sword sometime <laughs> when I um should like when I finish my live 2D model. I should have like a a version where I'm holding a sword. Ooh, okay. Let me look at this Hakata. I won't I won't um show it in stream, obviously. But ah, uh, the the lone Hakata. It's so cute, and I love that people- that there were so many people that- that love swords for a hot second. <laughs> you could make a token Rambu powerpoint and I'd love it. Uh, I, I would love to do like a powerpoint stream. <laughs> and oh yeah, use a sword pointer. I need to like go look at those um, assets. <laughs> is it in the- the giant- Minha, is it in the giant like uh, asset? Google Doc that you sent me? Is there like a sword in there? Somewhere? <laughs> See, I, I need to go look through it more. Uh, maybe I'll have like... <laughs> um... No, actually, I think I'm pretty free next week, so I can... <laughs> I can take a better look at all the... Uh, <laughs> what? Is there a problematic fave you'd like to defend on a stream? Oh my god, um, from like any series? Um, 
What are series that, uh... 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 Oh my god, child. <laughs> um... Oh my god, what do you mean you know I have so many? Oh my goodness. Um... Let's see... Uh, uh... My... My head is empty. But, uh, let's see, does, um, does, uh, pre what makes the sky blue sandy count as problematic? Because <laughs> I, I'm a very, I'm like a seasonal grand blue player, but, um, I have my, um, my, my entire, like, prized possession is uh sandy like i think i i fell in love with sandy so fast that um when i joined his uh his whatchamacallit his first outfit came out and then it was like freaking 30 dollars and i was like but i really want him i haven't even read a lot of like the 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 um what makes the sky blue part one <laughs> and I already bought him <laughs> and then I think I also have the the skin from his CD because I bought it when it came out <laughs> I <laughs> I love Sandy <laughs> um yeah I feel like um <laughs> I don't want to do grand blue on stream because I don't know how to build grids correctly because I started getting into it when I already kind of fumbled so much <laughs> with my um, characters and weapons and whatever. Uh, yes, please, Minha and Rosanna, please fix my, my Grand Blue account <laughs> so I can make use of my Sandies. Oh, I know, Joy! I didn't play during the Token Rambu collab. I'm so sad that it didn't come to the side stories. <laughs> oh! Oh my gosh, yes, please. I've only seen like snippets of it, but it seemed really good. <laughs> oh my my biggest regret because I, I think I, I legitimately I had a friend make an account for me during the Token Rambu collab and they even grind uh grinded through the event for me, but then <laughs> uh but I just didn't have the chance to read it after all of their hard work. But I think they, they just reclaimed the account for, for themselves. <laughs> oh yeah, it's probably yeah, it's probably on YouTube. Actually, um I, I checked the, the token Rambu wiki a lot and I think the whole thing is there on the wiki too. <laughs> Uh, cause in the days before the, the English version of the game came out, the, the Token Rambu wiki was just, like, my bible, basically. <laughs> oh my gosh. I will, I will read the Token Rambu event. What if I, like, just didn't show pictures? Or, like, the audio, and then I just read it out? <laughs> The token grand blue token rambu event like live reading. <laughs> Who are Senko's favorite sword boys? Um, hmm. I have well, I would say that my my progression with my token rambu faves have changed a lot. Like I do like pretty much all of the sword boys but I think the first one that caught my eye was like Kashu and he's my starter but then 
Um, I think I got Ichini, but then the thing is with uh, Ichini, uh, <laughs> he came home and then I was like, who is this? Who is this rejected Fire Emblem nerd? And then I made fun of him, but then he ended up being my favorite character. <laughs> And, <laughs> um, I think my, my starter was almost, uh, Manba, and, uh, I really liked his design, but, uh, I think, uh, I liked the, the combo of, um, I like the overall for Kashu, cause, um, I do like, uh, Mayano, and liked that he voiced, uh, Mamba, but I thought <laughs> that Mayuno's voice was just a bit too deep for for Yaman Bagiri, and <laughs> that's the only reason that that's part of the reason why I switched to Kashu. But I did I did really like him still. Uh, I think I I fell into the hole um of liking Yaman Bagiri after the the stage play because uh Mackie's voice was like uh kind of like my ideal Manva voice and then he also just looks really pretty in general <laughs> I really just go where Mayano goes yeah that that's really that's valid <laughs> that that's me with um Nojima Kenji <laughs> oh yeah I guess my my other problematic fave is uh He's voiced by Nojima Kenji, but uh, he's a uh, Gino from Psychopaths, and he's like an overall jerk. But <laughs> he, I guess maybe he's like my problematic, my other problematic fave. And like ever since then, um, I've liked everybody with uh, Nojima Kenji's voice. Red Riding Hood from Taisho X Alice. Um, Oh my gosh, yeah, and I wanted to, uh, I think I started trying to figure out the the thing to get Lobelia only for, uh, Nojima Kenji's voice, and then I also pulled for, um, Albedo in Genshin just for Noji Ken. <laughs> um, I have not seen Taisho X Alice. Why? Is it, is it a problematic character? Is there a Mayano? <laughs> yes, Noji Ken. Um, okay. Let me go, let me go look. Um, Red Riding Hood, Taisho, Alice. Oh my gosh, why why is it just like Yaman Bagiri but in red? <laughs> like I I don't I don't like uh comparing <laughs> characters uh especially if I don't know them that well. Um but, but oh my gosh, it just looks like <laughs> the, they really said copy paste. <laughs> Yawn Bagiri, but a dog with a red blanket. That's so funny that they're- he's also voiced by Mayano. <laughs> what, is, what is this pattern? Is this um, an Otome game? Is it in English? Is wait, can you play Ultimate games on <laughs> on stream or is the copyright issues questionable? Oh my gosh, English version roller coaster. <laughs> oh yes, definitely. Now one thing I, I do wanna play on stream, maybe if it's <laughs> or either on stream or like discord party hangout thing um i would love to play like uh visual novels because i do really like those um 
So I know there's a couple visual novels that I, I cannot play on stream whatsoever. Even if it's not like on the, the banned streams list, but there there's a, a certain company called Nitro Plus Kirao and I do like all of their their works. And it's been very shocking that they they've actually gotten um, English localizations. Some dude got the licenses and then dubbed it himself with the- what? Huh? What- what on earth? That- how does that even happen? That sounds so wild! What on earth? Like, I feel like that that kind of thing, it's like, you said it's so detailed that it just can't be made up, but it sounds like something that was made up. <laughs> yeah, I feel- I'd feel awful if I was a fan of the game and then that freaking happened to it. What? <laughs> what? His self-promo! <laughs> no, like... That, that's so awful, but it's so funny at the same time. <laughs> yeah, the the audacity of this person. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> what a what a roller coaster. <laughs> Um, let's see, I was looking through the, the visual novels I have, um, so I bought, uh, Hatoful Boyfriend, but I've never played it in full. I don't know if that's something I'm allowed to play on stream, but I know people people t say that it gets crazy and I want to make it to the the crazy parts. And um Oh. You know already streamed it. Oh, wait. Let me let me look for something that Yin hasn't streamed. <laughs> um unless people like want my specific reaction. Um I also have a uh... and, Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> the 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 snake reaction to to pigeon dating um let's see i also have the amnesia game the the otome that i coincidentally like won in a twitter giveaway <laughs> it was like my first my first giveaway prize ever was like a steam code for amnesia and I played like one of the routes, but I'd like to play other routes or possibly like have a playthrough where the chat um, picks my my options for me <laughs> and then we just see the disaster it becomes. Um, I only played like one um, one ending and it it was like, if I remember correctly, it was like the normal. The normal ending because I guess there's a, a bad end and a good end and then a normal ending where basically nothing is resolved but then nothing crashed and burned into pieces and it was like a very um I guess it's a, a lackluster ending for the sole purpose of making you play for the the good end <laughs> We can't trust chat. <laughs> oh my gosh, um, dating sims like scare me sometimes cause like sometimes I think and uh, like I'm trying to push someone away and cause I don't like them but then sometimes you, you do stuff like you choose the option to be mean to them and then it's like the, the game tells you, oh this character likes you more and I'm just like, what? Why? 
Why do you want me to be rude? See, amnesia is a multitude of bad ends. I, I have heard. <laughs> Let's see, in 2017, the first episode got an English localization done by E2 Gaming, but due to many translation errors and spelling and grammar mistakes, the game failed spectacularly, and E2 Gaming never released the following episodes. <laughs> However, Prime Mula decided to attempt to try localizing the game again in 2019, this time with an in-house translation team. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All the episodes are out now. <laughs> Yes, please. I love to watch your your Taisho, Taisho Alice stream. I wanna invest in more dating sim games. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, like most of my my dating sim library is stuff that I cannot play on stream whatsoever. <laughs> oh my gosh, Hakuoki. Uh, Minha, who do you like in Hakuoki? Oh my goodness. Yes. Good. I, I am an Okita stan. But I feel like I, I end up liking um, Okita across like all um, iterations of him <laughs> because um see i've watched uh gintama and my favorite was okita there and then um <laughs> oh no yeah i don't i don't play uh fgo but um but i thought okita was really pretty there and i really like i almost joined only for for that okita and then also I think my my other like reason for choosing Kashu as my starter was like when I heard that <laughs> when I heard that he was uh, used by Okita. <laughs> oh, the <laughs> yes, Minha handshake. Good taste. Yeah, I um actually I think I only did the the Okita good end and bad end. Oh, yeah, I think I did also did um Heisuke's good and bad end, but I didn't finish others. <laughs> oh my gosh, what? No, <laughs> the angst. <laughs> Uh, oh my goodness, Minha, <laughs> the sword boys, <laughs> please spare them, <laughs> go listen to their break lines on, on the wiki, you don't need to actually break them. <laughs> oh, it's okay, Tasty, I hope, I hope you're gonna have a, a good breakfast. I'm probably gonna, uh, stop streaming soonish uh i didn't realize that it's already been like two hours T time flies when i'm just talking to y'all <laughs> uh, i was actually afraid that <laughs> there wouldn't really be people on the stream since it was so early in the morning for for some people or i guess in joy's case super late at night were you, were you the one who submitted their breaking lines on the wiki? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, man, huh? Were you? And ooh, tasty. I hope that that ends up good. Well, I hope that ends up tasty. Tasty. <laughs> that sounds really good. 
I am a big fan of um, the uh, of spam. Like uh, I really like uh, spam musubi, but uh, growing up, I my breakfasts were like fried spam and eggs and rice. Which I heard is like typical for, um, I guess, Filipino families. I, I am a, a Filipino snake, even though I, I'm dressed in this getup. <laughs> yeah, I feel like, um, I guess a lot of uh, people from Asian countries. Uh, uh. Oh, yeah. Um, I saw your message, Minha. Yeah, I actually, um, responded to, um, one of Izumi's tweets in, uh, Tagalog, except I'm like, <laughs> I'm like full Filipino, but I my Tagalog is very um my Tagalog is like little to none. <laughs> I I'm pretty sure I know more Japanese and even something like French more than I know Tagalog. <laughs> Cause I, I did take a little bit of French in in high school and then I did study Japanese for a few years um, and also when I was living in Japan. <laughs> Spam, eggs, and rice. Oh my gosh. Wait, did the... Wait, did the US introduce Spam to, to Asian countries? Because if that if that's true that then that's so weird because like um I see a lot of um hmm, a, a lot of American people here that um aren't minority and they're like they they don't like the idea of like canned meat and they think spam is kind of disgusting but I'm just like I'm vibing here with my fried spam and I don't care about its uh, nutritional value. <laughs> like spam is like a big staple for me. <laughs> what? Is it eaten so much in the States? I don't know, cause when I when I talk to a lot of American people, they don't, they're like disgusted by it, or like whenever they're not like Asian, <laughs> uh, when it's like an Asian American, they're like, oh yeah, I love spam. But then when I talk to literally anyone else, they're like, ew, spam. Why is it in a can? What's in that? Ah, oh, history lesson. Uh, maybe just like, um, oh my gosh, <laughs> in 2020, oh my gosh, I think 2020 is, is not like a good comparison because I know that a lot of people suddenly decided to change their minds about spam during the, the pandemic because I used to get spam pretty easily. And then I guess when the, the pandemic hoarding happened, like everybody, everybody just snatched them off the shelves. Yeah, that's, that's pretty interesting though. I didn't realize um, so many people ate it. Maybe it's just the, the people in my immediate area um, that that question it <laughs> it's 
see, the biggest consumer of Spam next to the United States is South Korea. The brand has sold a total of 1.2 billion cans in South Korea, or the equivalent of about 24 cans for every person in the country. Oh my goodness. It's so popular there that Spam products are given as gifts, especially during the Lunar New Year and the... Uh, I don't know how to pronounce that, uh, or like Korean in general, but is it like Chisuk? Um... Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, actually, I saw a TikTok during um, that holiday in Korea and somebody showed off their uh, Chu Sok, I think. Chu. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, okay, cool. Um, yeah, I saw a video of somebody's like. Costco in Korea and then during during that holiday they they were like you know those fancy like gift chocolate boxes type of stuff like they they had like a whole um a whole thing of those in Korean Costco except it was like spam gift sets and I was just like I I want that I would legitimately want to get a bunch of spam. <laughs> a fancy spam gift set. <laughs> so, okay, yeah, if it's if it's mostly from Hawaii, that that makes so much more sense. <laughs> considering like all the different um stuff like spam musubi fortunately i have never been to hawaii before but maybe maybe someday when everything calms down Ah. Okay. Yeah, that that makes sense. <laughs> yep. <laughs> that's that's my my breakfast staple. <laughs> thank thank you all for for the facts. <laughs> very very interesting findings on on spam. <laughs> A, a one facts site for for reading stream <laughs> oh, a web <laughs> a website from the Philippines well that that explains <laughs> that explains some things even more Uh, I have not been to Hawaii, but my parentals have been to Hawaii. Um, I think I typically when my parents want to go on vacation, um, I am taking care of the pets at home because we've had very interesting, um, not so interesting weird experiences with like hiring people for pet care so we just like one of us just does it ourselves which it, which is fine but i guess I, i'd love to go hawaii someday with some friends um i guess that's the other thing um i i do i find that i like traveling with friends a lot more than my my family <laughs> Um, I don't mean it in a bad way necessarily, I just, um, I guess it's, it's easier to travel with people that have, like, kind of the same mindset and, I guess, same energy as you. <laughs> um, cause my, my parents really like, um, the, those tours and stuff and I just like vibing and exploring. Yeah, friend vacay is way fun. I have, 
gone to uh, Japan with just friends and that was pretty fun. Let's see, spam facts stream. There'll be a quiz at the end. <laughs> See, 3.6 cans of spam are consumed every second. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm responsible for two of those cans per second. Tasty. They're so powerful. Yes, Tasty, I'd love to go Hawaii with you and eat the food. Let's see, Minha. Yeah, I want a proper trip to Japan one day because I've always just been with relatives. All I know is Chiba. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you should. You should do a... Like, either a solo or a friend trip. I think it would be really fun. Yeah, I think, um... I've been to Japan... Um like one time with my parents and um and then another time with friends and then there was the time where I just lived there for a while with um my roommate um cause we we got into like the same Japanese like study program and <laughs> One day I want to go to to GBFS. Uh, I would love to go to that too. <laughs> it always looks so fun, and it's so nice that they they live stream everything too. But I can't. I can only imagine like how much more fun it is in person. Uh, not gonna lie, like part of my motivation for doing applications to to live in Japan for a while um, <laughs> was partially because. I, I wanted to be able to go see like 2.5D shows in person, so I have um, I have the the satisfaction of being able to say that I was able to see Aramaki Yoshihiko in the flesh as Yamabagiri on stage. And, um, yeah, I definitely love to go again and see them, but it's like, they, they made it a little bit harder for, <laughs> for foreigners to, to get tickets to things, because I think when I bought tickets for the, the first, um, 2.5D showing I ever went to, um, I didn't even have to use a VPN, I just used their ticket site <laughs> and then they let me put input all of my information and then I won the the seat lottery, whatever. But nowadays it's like they want um they want like a Japanese a legitimate Japanese phone number and um, you'd have to use like a VPN just to access the website and then after the Japanese phone number they also want text verification and then I'm just like oh my goodness please just let me in <laughs> I mean I guess that's what uh, proxy services are for sometimes but uh, sometimes 2.5D is such on the, the niche side that some proxies aren't available to do that <laughs> but I um, but I, I am currently looking for a new proxy because <laughs> some some proxies have been hard to get in contact with lately because of all the restrictions on shipping but I know I'm not gonna go see a show anytime soon so I guess we will see. <laughs> um. Let's see, I was distracted by something. Um. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, I. That's so sad that they are. It's so sad and so weird 
that they have so many restrictions on shipping because I I know like they they've been very inconsistent with um, being able to ship to the United States versus Canada and you would think that um, they would basically have them on the same level for like shipping restrictions considering that they're both in North America and connected to each other but uh, sometimes things are restricted for no good reason <laughs> and I know for a while um, they they banned like um, EMS and SAO to the United States but then they still allowed DHL shipments and then I'm just like is what is the point of this if like like you're not you're not gonna stop stop the Rona if um <laughs> if you you hold off on these shipping methods but allow others uh, I, I did purchase something like pre-pandemic and then my proxy got into so much um, shipping uh, problems that I didn't get my stuff until a year later. Oh my gosh, poor poor Ami Ami. Yeah, they probably have so much. <laughs> uh, I know I do have like a couple Ami Ami pre-orders myself or stuff from Good Smile and I like time and time again I get emails like oh your order has been delayed and then i'm like cool it's been delayed like five times already uh yeah <laughs> paying for dhl to get my big ass dragapult plushie to the states was so painful oh no <laughs> uh yeah plushies are really hard to transport oh my gosh i um see i bought the child's like whale i mean narwhal or something uh it's like a huge ass plushie and uh i paid so much money for the shipping uh because i guess they had to because ami ami had to proxy it from china i assume but then the the way I don't understand that they didn't do the thing where they, they vacuum seal plushies to one, protect them and also protect their, their I guess, fluffiness. But they just shoved the whole ass whale in a box, a huge box, <laughs> and it just had like plastic over it but I feel like the shipping could have been so much better if they did the, the vacuum seal squeeze thing. Oh no, the the Rex Lapis plush. I almost got that one, but um, I don't know. I really, I just really liked the the big whale. Oh no, poor Izumi. Yeah, shipping is just all out of whack right now. <sighs> someday, someday we'll all get our things. And someday all of this, this COVID stuff will go away. Hello, Izumi. Izumi has been summoned. <laughs> I'm so sorry about your your whale uh, I wish that they would like protect these plushies a little bit more oh my gosh Christmas phasmo oh I do I do have phasmo so I could um I could end the stream and take a little bit of a break and then I'd be I'd be so down for Phasmo. I actually haven't like played it before. Like I bought it for for the purpose of um 
playing with friends, but I, I haven't tried it yet. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> but yeah, I was I was actually gonna end stream soon, so <laughs> low key, high key. I would I would love to join Phasmo or at least like hop in for a few games. <laughs> Snack wakes up so early. Um I was actually <laughs> uh I I am an early morning riser snake, but I also set an alarm this morning so I could uh <laughs> so I could watch some uh Luxium streams <laughs> because uh I guess Vox and Mista are on UK time and they they were like streaming at ass o'clock in the morning <laughs> and <laughs> I just wanted to pop in for a little bit and I know I was watching Mista's stream up until I had to start streaming. <laughs> but. I mean, I'm glad I, I still was able to watch them for a little bit. I am a very big fan of um, Mista. <laughs> and um, <laughs> in my head, I, I've always been like, <laughs> in my mind, I was like, Oh my goodness, I, I coincidentally debuted on the same day as Luxium because like we just happened to do the collab stream on that day and I know it wasn't like intentionally planned to be on the same day as theirs because we I think we'd already planned it before the announcement that their debut would be on that day but I was just like wow <laughs> I have so much in common <laughs> I am the, the new Luxia member. <laughs> the hidden member. Oh my gosh, yes, the, the collab stream was so good. I I had so much fun. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh no, I <laughs> Oh my gosh, yeah, it was it was so fun seeing him get into character. I'm just like, wow, Jan did it, Ike. This is this is the life. <laughs> this is what I need from 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 Luxium. <laughs> Let's see, I'd love to also play um, that game Prop Night. <laughs> Is that what they were playing? Cause uh, it looks really fun. <laughs> yes, the the combo of like prop hunt and dead by daylight type of things. Cause I don't, I don't usually like stuff like dead by daylight. Cause it gives me so much stress when when someone is chasing me. Though I guess that's a, a lot of games. But I feel like playing um, a game of that with friends would be a lot of fun. Especially with the, the added comedy factor of being able to turn into, like, those random items. <laughs> oh my gosh, I wanna- I wanna go watch the collab again. It was- it was just so good. It was probably one of my favorite big collab streams ever. <laughs> if that Genshin Hide and Seek event comes back, please. Uh, I think I was actually busy during that event and I never got to play it and then I was so sad seeing um, so many people have fun with that event so I would love to maybe try and do it again. <laughs> <laughs> we were all just MIA from from that event. Though I think that event, at least the, at the time that it came out, it, it's like restricted to randomized players so you can't cheat. But I'm just like, but it's so much more fun if you're like playing with friends. <laughs> Rosanna. Did Rosanna play it? Oh no. <laughs> Rosanna is the, the more dedicated Genshin player. <laughs> Oh 
Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, I feel like you should <laughs> screw event points. We got friends. Exactly. It's all about having fun. Plus, right now I'm I'm in like rest mode from Genshin because uh oh bye tasty thanks for coming by uh yeah i'm in like rest mode because i got ito <laughs> uh though i guess i can like start early grinding for um ayato or if i decide to get shenha or um who else yai yeah, Uh, I think I'm actually going to wrap up stream now. Uh, Zodiac, so I'll, I'll talk to the the rest of you on on Discord, and please let me know if if you do end up going for Phasma or something, because I would love to join. Yes, Phasmo or or Jackbox. Oh, it's curry. What? <laughs> oh, oh my god. <laughs> I I it took me a <laughs> Yes. Oats, oh, <laughs> Oats cut it. Yes. Oats curry. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you all. Merry- Yes. Merry Snackmas. And happy holidays. I hope everyone has uh, a good day- Good rest of your day today. Or a good night if you're in a different time zone. <laughs> Otsenko. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Um, I'm trying to like learn how to raid people. <laughs> and I, I assume that it's like slash raid. But. And then their username. But I don't think anybody I know is like online. <laughs> So, but I, I will remember for, for next time. I know it's too early for most people to be online and streaming. But I think, yeah, I think I saw someone that I know online streaming yesterday. And then I was like, oh no, I could have raided them. I forgot. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah, if, if any y'all got recommendations for, for raiding... Please let me know before, right before I decide to, to end stream. <laughs> but, alright. Thank you guys for coming. And, yes, Merry Snickmas and Happy Holidays. Have a, <laughs> have a, have a good day and night. And, perhaps, if... If we do, if there's like group Zodiac game stream tonight, I will, I will be there. <laughs> All right. Bye. I don't know why I, I like waved in, in real life, even though I'm, <laughs> I'm limited by <laughs> the PNG tuber. <laughs> Maybe someday I'll do, I'll do the hand tracking. <laughs> Oh yeah, I should. I, I'll go look for. I'll I'll go make a, a PNG hand, if if not like uh, one of those free assets. <laughs> okay, bye. Just imagine snake waving. <laughs>